Making art with technology doesn't have to be about the technology. It can be about emotions, the environment. It's just kind of a tool that can deal with space and rhythm in new ways and how we perceive the world. Welcome to Art and Technology. We're joined by Masaki Fujihara and Jakob Kunstinsen. Am I okay in the shadow of the tree or the sun will be here for a little bit? I just have the mix of like slightly indoor, slightly outdoor. <laughs> Through their use of extended reality tools in their work, they invite us to bridge time and place and experience worlds otherwise invisible to us. How do you see these tools changing people on a more regular daily basis? Year by year, the technology evolved. I've been thinking, you know, the VR is an extension from the cinema. From the beginning, I wanted to make immersive environment. On the other hand, I believe AR is extension from a desktop. It's a, a tool to reach to the archive, so we can expand our knowledge. I want to hear your opinion. What's the difference between AR and VR? So for me, of course, as an artist, I use a lot of tools, a lot of technology. I think about all these as tools of the present in the way that like what we call VR and AR today could take on a different form in like five, 10 years. There's no absolute form for any medium, but the past few years I've also started building tools. Tools where you don't have to think so much about the technology, where it's just kind of like a paintbrush and you get to express yourself and be part of the creation. It's only with the audience that it evolves and there's this continuous energy of movement between technology creator and people experiencing and we have to accept that this is an infinite movement. Yeah, I agree because uh, if we have original data in digital, we can uh, make a different type of outputs. So that's important advantage of digital technology. Probably very soon in the future, these modes of interaction are going to be much more fluid. Maybe something in a private environment starts as VR, but then keeps with you in some kind of augmented reality, especially since both of you wear glasses. We'll see what <laughs> we'll, we'll see what they get in there sometime in the future. Whatever you're doing as an artist is bumping up against the limits of the tools that you're using. And so where is extended reality going next? I think that what XR is doing in terms of like art and culture is also breaking down some barriers between different fields. When you're really working with technology and the more you do it, you start encountering the necessity of collaboration. So suddenly you have to interact with engineers, sound artists, uh, performers and many different fields. So I think slowly we will see this manifest in terms of like what is the definition of an artist and the artwork and the, the technology. This will kind of be more fluid and more dynamic. Artist has a very important role now in this society. Military technology always has a purpose from the beginning. But by using these technologies, we can discover the hidden possibilities behind the surface. So that's a very important configuration for the future. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.